So, future Danielle. <laughs> my mic ran out of battery uh, towards the beginning of my filming today, so that's cool. Um, so I'm just going to kind of sit down and go over the things that were missed uh, <laughs> originally. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing out the ColourPop No Filter no filter foundation. Now this foundation retails for $12 and they just recently launched it um probably about a week ago um maybe when this is going up maybe like a week and a half ago. They launched with 42 shades which I think is incredible and I just think that that is really really great. That is a really critical thing in the makeup world right now. If a brand launches a foundation line and they don't launch a wide variety which Colourpop just did you know, they get kind of beat up on because they should be launching a wide variety so multiple different skin tones can buy their product. Um, so I think it's really great that they came out with a bang and, you know, came out with so many different colors. Um, this claims to be a medium to full coverage foundation and it is... Uh, that's about all that I have from it. It's the same as their like no filter concealers. You know, it's a whole line. They came out with powders for it. And um, I think it's great. So this is cruelty free. It is 27, that's not true, 25 milliliters. And that is like, I don't know if that's standard. So my Too Faced Peach Perfect one is 48 milliliters. So take it for what you will. Um, but yeah, without further ado, this is going to be a wear test. I already have it on my face right now. Probably not the best. Uh, so with the ColourPop foundation, it is a glass bottle and it has a pump on it and it twists as well. So that makes it really nice for traveling. And um, one thing I didn't really realize before that I just now realized <laughs> is it is under, you know, two or three, however many, like the TSA says that it should be fluid ounces. So therefore that makes it even easier to travel if you're traveling by plane. Uh, just food for thought. So it's going to be a wear test. This is a first impression, so it is not a review. I am just learning it right now. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into the application. <laughs> In using this foundation, the foundation is a lot more runny um, than I would expect from a full coverage foundation. I applied this with two different methods. I used my Morphe Y6 brush, which is my favorite foundation brush, and I did that on the first half of my face that you're seeing now. And I didn't like that. <laughs> it did not blend into the skin as much as I would hope. And then for some reason it was patchy in some areas as well, um, kind of like near my cheek and like in the hollow of my cheek and around there. And since it is a medium to full coverage foundation, brushes help with making the coverage be a lot better than what it would be with a sponge because it's not soaking up as much of the foundation. But with this I didn't really find that much of a difference. It still on both sides of my face was more of a light to medium coverage. So I did end up, I didn't show it, but I did end up going in with a second layer just on my cheeks because I was seeing some of that redness still peek through and it helped with the patchiness that was happening. So the reason I really didn't like the brush either was because it just didn't sink into the skin, the skin right away like I would have liked. It was heavy, it just looked like it was laying on top of it and I didn't really prefer that. It really really stuck to my dry patches as well because I am like peeling from getting some like too much sun last weekend. So then when I applied the sponge it did like melt it into the skin a lot better. I had to apply, which you'll see, a second layer on my cheeks to give it more coverage as well since I do have a lot of redness on them. But I did prefer the sponge side at first. However, my feelings of the foundation all together, at least when I was first applying it, was not my favorite thing in the world. So I went ahead and used the ColourPop No Filter Concealer as well just to see how the formulas mix together. And they mix alright, you know, no issues whatsoever. I am using the shade Light 16, I believe, right here.
So you can see a good close up of my skin right here and you can kind of tell how it's sitting on top of the skin and didn't really cover all the blemishes that I have and some of my regular skin, natural skin is peeking through as well. And then you can see um, on the brush side where it is definitely sitting on the skin more and clinging to the dry patches that I do have. And then I did powder just with like regular Cody Airspun and then a pressed powder from Wet n Wild that I have. So this foundation has been on my face for probably an hour now and um, it's not sinking as bad into my forehead lines as foundations normally do but it is not sinking at all into my smile lines right here which normally by this time that is happening. Now it could have been because I baked a little bit but sometimes I do that and that doesn't really help anything. So I actually have lipstick on my teeth. So I actually really do like what's happening right now. Um, as discussed, it did, you know, latch onto my dry patch right here, but after setting it um, with powder, it's not as noticeable as bad. It just looks a little chunky. Uh, other than that, it has sunk into the skin on both sides. It was easily removable though. Like if I, when I was doing my liner, I like rested my finger and it just removed everything even after setting my face. So that is something to know. I think you definitely have to set this foundation and set it well. It mixed really well with everything that I used. However, besides my powders, everything I used was Colourpop on my face. So dang it. So at least you know, if you're a ColourPop girl, that this will mix well with ColourPop's formations. Formations? Formulas. <laughs> uh, so that is all that I really have to say right now. Um, I will check in maybe in a few hours, maybe at the end of the day. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But so far, I actually like it a lot better than when I first put it on my skin. So maybe it does have to harmonize with your skin a little bit. Oh, this is a matte foundation. I don't think I mentioned that. So. I'm a, I'm not a dry girl. I'm an oily girl, so a matte foundation is what I need, especially in the summertime because it's hot as balls outside. So I sweat, I get that nasty dewy look, <laughs> and this should help hopefully mattify all of that for longevity and everything of that nature. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So now that we are a couple hours into it, I'm gonna use this as kind of like my second check-in as well. And, <sighs> Any part that I am peeling, it is clinging to. So if you have dry patches, you're probably not gonna like this foundation because it really does cling to it and accentuate it. Now, since this is a matte foundation, I am not noticing too many like oily looking spots except for right here. That is the only area that is starting to look a little dewy, but it is cakey right in here along the nostrils. Um, it's kind of coming off my nose a little bit and it's actually holding up pretty well on the rest of my face also given the fact that my boyfriend can never leave my face alone like he's just always like touching me for some reason on my face and I'm always like my makeup my makeup like he like I was laying on a pillow and he like wrapped the pillow around my face and I'm literally trying to film a video right now you're not you're laying in the bed but I don't really have anything else to check in as of yet, so I'm just going to wait until the end of the day when I've gotten a full like eight, maybe ten hours of wear time with it. So I'll see you guys at the end of the day. So bright. No. Oh. Okay, so we we're at the end of the day. <laughs> Um, we're about almost at a full like 10, 10 and a, no, I, we are at, um, almost, wait, maybe I am, we're almost at like nine and a half hours right now. And I feel like that's like a decent amount of a wear test. I don't think that anything else is going to change at this point. I really don't. <laughs> um, so I will show you a close up of my face, um, 
here in a second. Just want to talk about a few things real quick. I have seen a lot of reviews on this foundation. Um, but I think most of them have dry skin. So I could be wrong, but the ones that I've watched were um, Kathleen Lights, Raw Kirsty Beauty, and Glam Life Guru Tati. Um, and I believe all three of them have dry skin. But at the end of the day, their face, um, Tati's in particular, was a lot more oily than my face right now. So with that, just letting you know, I have combination skin. Usually in the warmer months, my skin is oily. So right now we're in the oily area and I did go outside today, so I tested that. Beside my mascara is starting to fall a little bit underneath my eyes, um, my makeup in general is looking pretty good for mine now. Nothing has changed since my last check-in. My skin literally looks exactly the same. If anything, the dry patches aren't as accentuated, which could, could be an indicator of oiliness coming out of the foundation, but it's kind of like clinging to the dry patches that I was having, so it made them look okay, but that also wouldn't make any sense in comparison to other people that experienced oiliness after using this foundation when they have dry skin. So I don't know. Maybe it's just flaking off and now my skin looks fine. Could be the case. Uh, so other than that, my skin looks literally the same. Right here is still the oiliest part and there's some dewiness to it and it feels a little oily but not too much. My nose is still cakey. It's not looking cute on my nose. It came off quite a bit and is looking really patchy on there. Um, came off of my chin. A part of that could be I've been putting my hand on my chin a lot because I've been editing videos today. Uh, so without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just zoom you in. Here is the side that I used the sponge on. And I mean, the redness is really coming through on both sides, quite frankly. Um, so I think it's it's worn quite a bit on there. That's not just the blush, like that's my, that's my skin. That's my real skin right there. Could be for me touching my face a lot, could not be. Uh, you can tell up here a little bit, the dry patches that I do have don't look as bad as they did earlier, and it's not as like on top of the skin anymore as it was before. And so my nose is pretty cakey on both sides, and you can kind of tell like down the bridge of the nose, it's not cute. But regardless, I think if you aren't touching your face all day, your foundation, naturally, any foundation, will last longer if you don't touch your face all day. So with that kind of like aside from my first impression, um, it's not a bad foundation. It's $12. If you're on a budget, I think that this is a pretty decent foundation. Now I tend to like medium to full coverage foundations. I do not consider this that at all. I consider it a light to medium foundation. So that's kind of a downer, but if you're on those more natural days, I think that this would be really good for you, or maybe you're just a natural kind of gal all the time, this would probably be fine for you as well. With that said, I want to use this more so I can actually give you an impression. So in the description box down below, I will probably add, um, if I've worn it a second time, I may not wear it a second time. I plan on wearing it tomorrow. So at least I'll probably have at least another date update. And it, it's not like a full review because this is my first time wearing it. So I don't know if it was just a really weird day because I was touching my face, my boyfriend as well, a lot. Um, or if like my setting spray really helped things out because I tried out a new setting spray. So it could have been a couple of different things, but Regardless, I don't hate the product. I don't absolutely love the product. I'm not saying that you need to go buy this right now. I'm saying if you're in the market for a pretty inexpensive foundation that does a pretty good job, then this might be the foundation for you. That's all I gotta say. It's time for bed. Okay, I gotta go. Stop trying to get me to stay. 
But that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching it. So if you liked this video, please make sure that you give it a big old thumbs up so that I know that you like these types of videos. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that little notification bell because you will not be notified about my videos if you don't have that notification bell on. You can put it for all, you can put it for occasional, you can put it for never, I suggest for all. And follow me on all of my social medias. Those are linked down below as well as a new blog that I just started. I have one post up so far, at least at the time that I'm recording this. There may be another. <laughs> um, so go follow that as well, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys! Bye.